Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. I hope you're well. And if you'd like to support this free hypnosis service, just go to my website. Now, I would, uh, I was thinking about internal dialogue or simply what we say to ourselves. And I was wondering, what do you say to yourself when you're in bed? What do you say to yourself? What, what thoughts do you have when you're in bed? And I'm talking about that period of time when you lay down on your bed and you're just lying there. Your head touches a pillow. Your body relaxes completely. Your mind slows down. What thoughts do you have? Now, of course, I know that you can't answer me. Well, you can, but I won't hear you. So, what I thought we could do is change those thoughts, change them, and one way to change them is to actually take over the thought process yourself taking control of what you think about for example while you're lying there on your bed actually purposely speak to yourself internally so it doesn't have to be talking out loud it's just talking internally and when you talk internally consciously talk voice is now within your control because you're the boss just in the same way as when you're driving a car if you let go of the steering wheel for a second the car could go all over the place but as soon as you take hold of that steering wheel again you control the car and it's not even about putting much effort in at all because no effort is really needed it's just about practically taking control by gently talking to yourself by gently saying something very different 
is almost like the internal chatter has actually stopped, except for your words, except as if you're the boss of a factory or in a big office and when you're there everybody works hard and does what they're supposed to do and does their job go home or go away for a couple of days the people in the factory start to mess around and play because they don't care about the outcome because they're not Invested in how you feel. So when you come back to the factory or to the business, everybody starts working again properly, doing their proper job that they're being paid to do you're there so when you're lying down on your bed your head touches a pillow your body naturally feels relaxed and your mind slows down automatically your mind may start to just do its own thing thinking that you've gone away because you're not focusing on anything thoughts may start to misbehave and do things that are not useful for you not doing the things that they are supposed to do what do you would like your mind to do and then maybe thoughts and words come into your head that are not useful for you thoughts and words that not only get in the way of you sleeping deeply but also might increase levels of stress or worry which is the opposite serve when it's time to sleep so to let your mind know that you are in fact 
picks up the other twin and they keep doing that over and over again waking each other up and playing and making noise and it's eventually a case of getting them both to just sleep Just repeat those words. Just repeat those words internally over and over again. And I realized that it's exciting thing to do but then it's kind of not supposed to be you know it's not a excitement and sleep any child on Christmas Eve well, not any child but a child that celebrates Christmas and how easy is it to go to sleep on Christmas Eve if you think back maybe you celebrated Christmas I know I did and all I wanted to do was go to sleep I knew the sooner I went to sleep the sooner I'd wake up but I was excited about the day ahead because Christmas was always the best day of the year I was excited that Father Christmas was coming and I was excited about the whole day eventually I would fall asleep just like everybody eventually falls asleep nobody stays awake forever it's impossible but I just the excitement It's not the best, the best way to drift off, but even with that excitement I still fell asleep. So regardless of what's going on in your life, you can still fall asleep. So the last bit of this recording is just going to be me saying this sentence internally you'll be if you like to you can repeat it and then when I stop talking that'll be the end 
suggest that if you wish to, you can still continue to say those words to yourself. a more of a gap. 